In the grandest part of the forest, Jeremiah Jackal announced the arrival of the king in the traditional manner. <laughs> Elvis, King of Beasts, was an awesome sight. Hello, Your Majesty. Howdy. Jeremiah, there's something I want you to do for me. Oh, yes? Go out into the forest and tell all my people that I won't feed it. Ow! See what I mean about awesome? Now go! And he did. Well, wouldn't you? The next evening, His Royal Highness waited impatiently. <laughs> Giblet was first. Aww. Come on, His Highness hasn't got all day. Giblet prepared a meal of fried eggs. Three. Oh, sunny side up, OK? Thank you, Giblet. You can go now. Elvis gave his eggs the once over. There. Was that nice? The next evening. I'm hungry. Where's my dinner? Worcester, the pig, had brought some sausages. Yes, Worcester. Now. Worcester watched his weak supply of sausages disappearing and was shocked to learn that Elvis's manners were not all that a king's should be. <sighs> oh, napkin, your highness. The king seemed satisfied and Worcester was dismissed. <laughs> the next evening, it was Fox's turn, an event that Elvis had been looking forward to. Voila, your majesty. Chicken a la king. Bon appetit. Yummy. Fox was pleased with how well his meal was going down. Jeremiah was astonished at the speed it was going down. Jeremiah. Jeremiah was always left to clean the dishes, but he didn't mind. I think he'll enjoy this, Your Majesty. It's a cheeky little claret. Yummy. Thank you, Your Majesty. We're a bust full of character and all gone. Next. It was Herman's turn. Honey, Your Majesty, Your Greatness, Your Holiness. That's sweet of you. <laughs> On the last day... Jeremiah. Yes, I cried one. What? Well, I don't remember seeing that rabbit. Go tell him he's got an appointment for dinner. Go! Well, if only to serve. Stay off the carpet. All right. A little later... Look, Your Majesty, he's walking on the carpet. Blow the horn. Yeah, that's enough. A sad-looking rabbit approached the king along the forbidden carpet. The king looked very angry. Brixton, if you don't give me my meal now, I'm going to eat you instead. Wait, wait, Your Majesty. I did make you a meal. I made you some soup with carrots and onions and turnips and... Mm, it was delicious. So, I picked it up and I put it on my head and I was running through the forest to see you when I was stopped by another lion who ate the soup and said he was the king. Elvis was astounded. And he said you were all washed up. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, I'm the king. I'm the king. Then he gave me a black eye and told me to get lost. Where is this great pretender? Well, he's over there. He tore my tie and everything. Oh, follow me. Of course, none of this was true. Brixton had even blacked his own eye to make it look authentic. Brixton led Elvis to the well. This way, Your Majesty. The king followed, trying to look as impressive as possible. He'd even put on his crown. Where is he? Elvis tried to look menacing. Well, he's down the well, if you just look. Elvis looked. He was horrified to see a lion looking back at him. Elvis had been frightened by his own reflection. He told me what he was going to do to you. Oh, I wouldn't let him get away with that. Yeah, I'd do something about it if I were you. Sometimes a king's got to do what a king's got to do. So Elvis did and fell into Brixton's trap. 
Bye bye, Mr. King. <laughs> Remember, you can ask a rabbit to dinner, but you can't make him cook. And Elvis had learnt something. Abuse of power is the best way to drop yourself in it.